Hello, good afternoon everybody. Thank you for joining us today on today's Talking Cafe Live. My name's Debbie, I'm one of the village agents at CCS and I'm joined today by Emily, a colleague of mine, and also we have Charlotte and Sarah who are both from SAS, which is Somerset Activity and Sports Partnership. And uh, they've come today to talk to us about a new exciting project they've launched called In It Together. So uh, over to you, Charlotte. Hi, oh, yeah. My name is Charlotte Norman. So I am the Women's Development Officer for Somerset Activity and Sports Partnership. And I lead on the uh, Women's Only In It Together project. Hi, and I'm Sarah Crossley, also at SAS. I'm the Marketing and Communications Officer. So I work on the Get Outside in Somerset project. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about that. Um, it's a really great project um, that's been running since just after the pandemic. Well, I guess it's still ongoing, unfortunately. Um, but it really came about because of the pandemic. So um, we saw inactivity increase across the county, subsequently mental health drops, um, really seen that impact of people being stuck indoors, you know, the four walls of their house it's been really difficult for a lot of people myself included I'm sure you here today as well um, so the Get Outside website and our social media provide some really really great resources we've got a support directory for mental health um, everything like that um, we've got some activities on our activity finder so you can really find what works for you to move in more ways for you um, and we also have the events calendar um, which is really great um, I have got some stats actually that I'd really like to read out if that's okay I think they tie in really beautifully with the In It Together project and I can then hand over to Charlotte again to speak about that um, so just going to read that out if that's okay um, so the pandemic has had a significant impact on the engagement and levels of physical activity in people with women's activity levels remaining consistently lower in May 2020 to May 2021 than 12 months earlier. It has seen an unprecedented disruption to people's lives and Sport England's active live survey data for Somerset shows that 22% of women living in the country are inactive, uh, doing less than 30 minutes of activity per week. Factors contributing to the overall picture seen in this drop include stress, financial challenges, disruptions to routines and uncertainty for the future. Um, so I'll just pass back on to Charlotte to discuss more about the In It Together project. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. So the In It Together project started in about it was January of this year and it was in, put in place to, as Sarah was just explaining, to improve the activity levels in women, but to do so in a supportive, encouraging and, and positive way. Um, there's various barriers for women to overcome um, when it comes to getting active and moving more, because a lot of women, you know, gyms and sports clubs, they're not always the answer. So it's important that this program helps women find a way of getting active that's right for them, encouraging and empowering them to, to move in their own way at their own pace, um, completely free of fear. And of course, when you get those kind of positive uh, experiences, it then enriches other aspects of their life, uh, building self-esteem, improving confidence, which then helps going towards maybe trying for that job, or even sometimes it's about striking up a conversation with a stranger that you'd never normally do. So In It Together um, aims to provide a whole range of activities uh, for women ages 16 plus and it, and it finds the activity for them and, and they will have been assessed um, and selected based on the, the motivating and encouraging instructors that run them and it provides that easier discovery for women out there. Um, and it's also why I'm hold, holding a, um, a taster activity day in Taunton on Saturday the 5th of March um, it's to showcase what is available to women to try out. Uh, they'll get to try out all the different activities. They're completely free of charge and it will provide them with a chance to make an, an informed decision about um, whether they like it and whether they want to continue when the activity comes available through the In It Together programme. It's going to be it's a celebratory event. Um, it's there to um, celebrate International Women's Day and it's all going to, it's going to utilise the, the park run as well. Uh, so just give a little bit more about In It Together because it's something I'm super passionate about and I, you know, if anyone ever has any questions about it, please do, do come to me and I'll try and keep it short and succinct. But, you know, as we head into spring and indeed out of the, the COVID barriers, it's, we, can, we can see this as a, as a new start. So it's important that we support our women into, into positive experiences 
and relieve those apprehensions with endorphins and oxytocin and instead of that serotonin, that stress hormone that we've all been living off um, to a certain degree for so long. So um, In It Together is about turning I'm thinking about to, to I'm going to. And that's not easy on your own. So um, In It Together wants to work on that contemplative phase and make it actual. So we're not letting past experiences shape you, whether you've had a bad PE teacher or a class that didn't quite make it make sense. Um, so it's it's defeating those demons and that takes that takes a lot of strength so offering enjoyable and achievable activities where you can share your experiences with women in the same situation create a sense of community which um then becomes a network of support as as women i feel we need to galvanize together so be in it together um, and use those activities as an outlet and, and a coping mechanism i think we're constantly caught out by fight and flight response and, and it's because of that risk of, of feeling vulnerable feeling exposed we've got to get our leggings on and we've probably been a year and a half locked away they're not going to look that right it's just about retraining our brain to make the fight response that dominant reaction so you know, find your reasons why you want to do it and hold on to it and, and if you ever want that support um nikki if you could just put up the in it together uh poster that would be great so this is my project in it together thank you and then get outside is also here to help in fact sarah i think you wanted to to share a few of the benefits you've experienced from getting out and moving more didn't you yeah, I think as a young woman living in Somerset during the pandemic, I found it really, really difficult. I had next to no community outside of my family and friends for activity. Um, so I've struggled with OCD um, since I was a child. And something I really, really noticed was that my as my inactivity increased, my OCD got worse and my anxiety got worse. And it wasn't until I wiped off the dust off my trainers one day and thought, you know what, there's more to Somerset than, you know, it doesn't just stop when it gets to my front door. It's my garden, it's my front garden, it's round the block. Um, and taking a walk and just taking that breathing space, it's so good. It, I mean, it helped It helped me so much. Um, I absolutely love walking. Recently got into roller skating again as well, which Charlotte knows lots about and also is um, enjoying lots of as well. Um, and I've noticed kind of as that activity increases my anxiety decreases it's almost like an expel of your emotions you're able to breathe and be outside and kind of you know if you want to scream at the top of your lungs in a field just to kind of get that anxious thought out of your head you can because it doesn't matter and um I think that's what the get outside in Somerset project is so great for there are so many spaces around us even you know just by discovering a new walk around your house it doesn't have to be anything intense it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to press yourself into doing you know one whole hour of major intensive exercise a day it's just about enjoying what's outside on your doorstep and finding more that you know moving in more ways that suits you and um, enjoying what you have out there to kind of give yourself that headspace give yourself a break from your day I think people often see their work day as nine till five or whichever hours you work and there's there's no break in between but on your lunch break just kind of stepping outside into Somerset and seeing what's out there it can be so beneficial um, and I think that's really great and again the In It Together project's fantastic for that for offering activities to women I know myself I'm very excited about Swanton Taster Activity Day. Um, I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, and just if we could have the Get Outside social media back up on screen, thank you. <laughs> That's great. Um, so on our website, we have an array of activities um, that happen across the whole, whole of Somerset. Um, and really it's about finding an activity that works for you, not making yourself work for the activity. Um, so we've got loads uh, just from walking, sightseeing, cycle routes, um, paddle boarding, water sports, all sorts. Um, again, the support directory is on there as well. Um, something else that's really great um, is we have our ambassadors um, and they are you know, actively advocating for this programme. And it's just so great to see what people 
people are up to and seeing people actively engaging in those activities across Somerset and giving tips and advice to people, which also leads on to the Facebook group that we have, which is the Get Outside in Somerset Facebook group. Um, this is just a fantastic safe space for people to share any kind of activity that they're doing, ask for tips and tricks, all sorts, whether it's, you know, just working out what seeds to plant in your garden as the season changes or what great hike you want to do that weekend. It's it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, and again, the In It Together project also provides this through their Facebook group. And I'll pass back on to Charlotte, who can talk more about that and their social media. Yeah, so um, being only three months old, we've still got a fair bit of work to do. And we've got some great ideas and some great things that we want to add on the In It Together Facebook page. Um, you know, we always try and keep up, uh, keep you up to date with what's on at the moment and what's coming. Um, and at the moment, we've got some great courses so far. I'm so excited by them. Um, and they all vary from free to three. So uh, free of charge or three pounds absolute maximum. So what have we got? We've got Women's Social Network uh, Netball League at the moment, um, a beginners running group, Fit Steps. We've got a, a dance inspired cardio class, Taekwondo. Um, and they're all happening all across Somerset. You know, I, I will aim to get the Mendip, South Somerset, uh, Somerset West, uh, all of them, everybody to be included on the programme. Um, and, and the feedback has been so amazing so far. You know, we've got women who never thought they would do it, never thought they'd run a kilometre, never thought they had the coordination to dance. And they're doing it. And I love it. And I love receiving that feedback that women are just doing their thing. Um, and as a personal trainer, I always say to my clients, like, you do you. That is your goal, if anything. And the feedback I'm getting is that women are. So um, coming up, we've got rugby, um, legs, bums and tons, studio cycling, self-defense, got a bit of beginner Zumba, pre and postnatal fitness, badminton, rounders. And, and what's really important is that you feedback to me. So if there's an activity in your area that you could probably do with trying out or you think it's a bit quiet, please do let me know. Absolutely. It's all about you. So, so, so give me that feedback. Give me those suggestions. Um, so In It Together does have its own Facebook page, In It Together Somerset. We're also on Twitter and on Instagram as well. And here you'll find all the activities coming up on the project as well. Hopefully some blogs, um, loads of pictures from women enjoying things and updates from the Taster Activity Day on Saturday. So Sarah, we're quite jam-packed, aren't we? Yeah, there is a lot going on at the moment and in the best way possible. And again, just really an emphasis on social media um, for communicating, you know, building that community between both channels. I think what we've learned a lot across the pandemic is that, you know, we, we don't always absolutely have to be face to face to maintain that contact. A lot more people, you know, are picking up their phone for the best way possible and reaching out on Facebook. And I think it's such a great space, a great platform to get that advice and find something new. And I think, again, with the In It Together project and the Get Outside in Sunset project, you're able to, you know, do a quick search on your phone and find out what's going on near you. And I think that's what's just so great about both projects, you know, with a quick search, especially on the Get Outside in Somerset um, activities finder and events page, you can think, right, what do I want to do this weekend? What do I want to do to get a little bit more active or just see something new? And there'll be something there for you. And I, I think what's really important to remember is, you know, there's no pressure to say, look, you have to go and do that 10 mile hike this weekend because not many people, you know, can go from a lower decrease in activity to suddenly just going to do that. And no one expects that of you. Um, it's very much about making, you know, the activity work for you and finding something that, you know, does you justice and makes you feel good. Um, the Get Outside in Somerset projects helped me massively. Um, I also do photography on the side and um, something I realised that I hadn't done in quite, quite a long time was landscape photography and it was never really an area of focus for me. Um, but something I found myself doing more often is when I'm outside taking pictures um, down at the Wellington Basins, for example, of the swans, the change of season, doing a bit of videography. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it, it's a space for you to have a hobby and be outside and enjoy what's, you know, beyond your doorstep. 
Um, it's really, really great. And I, I couldn't rate it high enough, to be honest. It's fantastic. <laughs> we, we were having a great conversation last week, weren't we, Sarah, about, um, you know, when I go for a walk, I or walking makes me feel and I think it's very much that emotive. How, how do you feel? So I go for a walk because I just need to go and clear my brain. Uh, same, I'll go for a, I'll, I'll use the term loosely run. Uh, I, you know, I try my best. Um, but it's when I get all my all my best ideas. I feel like it just releases my my stress thoughts. Um, in fact, Sarah's been on the other end of it as well, where I've been out for a, a dog walk and I've called her straight away going, I've got this idea and I need to tell it you now. So it's it's just that, you know, again, like I say, it's those endorphins, it's those happy hormones that we want to get buzzing around the body, isn't it? Definitely. I think, you know, consistently any walk I go on, I'll have an idea ping into my head and I'll get home, whether it's just that little bit more of motivation when you get home to return to your day of work or return to whatever it is that you're doing. Um, recently out on a walk and thought, I haven't done a house clean yet. And I got back home excited to do the house clean because I'd had that activity and I, you know, was looking forward to it. Um, it's little things like that just to give you that burst of energy, give you that buzz and get you get you going for the rest of the week, really. It, it, it is really helpful. I absolutely love it. Um, I've just seen that we've got a comment, actually, um, about uh, don't seem to have anything about this in Wales. Where do I go for more information? So if it is on the In It Together project, again, please do email me, cnorman at sasp.co.uk. Please, uh, yep, there it is. Please do visit In It Together Somerset on Facebook and Instagram. And again, the same with the Get Outside for any information. I will always do my best on the In It Together program to get these areas covered. I'm speaking with some wonderful instructors at leisure centres who want to put something on. Um, and that is in the surrounding area of Wales. We're looking at netball. We're looking um, at rugby as well. So uh, again, please do drop me that feedback. If you know that your area is quiet in activity, that's my job. I will try my best to get something for you. I think, again, this is just a great example of where social media and having that community is just so great. You're able to reach out and let us know what you need and what you want. And, you know, we can be there to say, you know, let's get something working here. Let's get something done about it. Because, again, after after everything that we've all experienced over the last, goodness, three years now, um, you know, we've really seen that change in activity and what we want and our, you know, our needs and wants from physical activity or enjoyment or, you know, boosting our mental health. So to kind of hear that feedback and know what you want is it's really good to know. And it gives us a chance to go, you know what, let's let's implement something here. Let's bring something to the table so that more people have opportunities, because, again, this is what both projects are all about. It's about giving everyone the opportunity to do something that works for them. And that's exactly what we want to provide people with yeah i mean if anyone's got any other questions please I just know. Say, charlotte and sarah your enthusiasm and excitement for this project is amazing and it makes me now want to just get outside and, and do something um so much of what you said i'm sitting here thinking yep that's me yeah that's me that, you know um um for me i struggle with um being self-conscious you know and I think as women we do we have this put upon us from social media wherever that we're supposed to be a certain shape a certain size and we're supposed to be this and we're supposed to be that which we, we we're not you know we're all absolutely beautiful but I still struggle with oh no I can't I can't go there and I'll do it when I've lost a bit of weight is a classic excuse for me there's always an excuse um so you know to, to find to hear about projects like this where actually we're all we're all can do this and it's not about going to the gym and spending hours and hours pumping weights you know it's just getting out getting out there and we live in such a beautiful part of the country we're so fortunate that actually on our doorstep you know there are such lovely places to be able to go and I have dogs so I, I do get out I do walk, walk the dogs um I actually took up paddle boarding during the pandemic Ooh. madness decided oh I'll have a go at that when I bought one, never done it. Just when I bought all the kit, um, I fall in quite a bit, but I absolutely love it. I, I love it. And I'm with you there, Des. As you know, I, I also went out and bought um, inflatable kayaks during the pandemic. Yeah. Because it, it got us out and about and doing things away from other people. 
Yeah, and I go with my daughter, and you, and, and it's opened up a whole new world because I've now on social media groups that that all you know everyone does paddle boarding, and when you go to the lake or wherever you go, you meet up with you know like-minded people, and it's just lovely. It's just lovely to get out there and to have a paddle around. Um, we're not brilliant at it, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's the fact that I'm out with my daughter. I get a bit of her and I time. Um, which doesn't happen very often because she's working, I'm working, we're all busy in our lives, but just to spend that bit of time together. Um, so I would just say to anybody, just have a go, you know, have a go at something, see, see what fits. And we're all, we're all doing it together. You know, we're all doing it together and let's have a laugh and giggle about it instead of worrying about what we look like, you know, let, let's go out and, you know, have a go. It's, it's so true. You know, I when I uh, uh, saw that Fit Steps was going to come on the Unit Together programme, I thought, well, if I'm expecting women to get out there and, and give it a go, I've got to give it a go too. So no dance experience whatsoever. <laughs> left feet, two left feet completely. Um, and you know what? I just went with it. And again, it's about that instructor kind of enthusiasm, support. Don't worry, don't find, you know, if you've got two left feet, you've got two left feet. You just keep moving, move some groove to the music. And and actually, I just had a right old giggle with myself. Me and a couple of the ladies were kind of like, you know, ugh, look at us banging into each other kind of thing. And it is that shared experience where you go, do you know what? We're not perfect, but we're here and we're all going to have a good giggle. Um, and I think that is, it's that shared experience. And, and funny enough, Sarah and I were talking the other day about how we both randomly completely separately got into roller skating again so I just put out there you know I've, I'm hiring a sports hall if anybody wants to come come and then suddenly it just it ended up as all women you know men are invited but in six weeks we've just built up this this great network where you know a few of them suffered uh with covid and then suddenly we're all like well if you need anything we're here for you none of us know each other from adam we didn't you know we don't know what each other's job is but set up on a whatsapp group and a facebook group if you need me to drop off food we will and, it, and it's that lovely build and as females we need that you know why are we going against each other why is this you know it's, it's beef with other women we're there to support one another we've all got the stretch marks or the the flabby bits like yeah but that's us and that's our bodies and that is our strength and that is what i truly believe yeah, it's about building each other up, isn't it? And yeah. uh, as I said, we're all, you know, seeing the positive and the niceness and the kindness and, you know, look at what else is going on in the world. You know, it's time now to show that kindness and be nice to each other because we're all beautiful. We're all lovely. Yeah. Um, just change the subject quickly. You mentioned your taste today. Yeah. What time What time does that run from it, on Saturday? That is running from 10 till 5. So indoors at the Coach Park Green Centre, there's a rolling timetable of activities. Um, I think it starts with uh, postnatal fitness um, and then there'll be um, some self-defence classes, uh, beginner Zumba, a, a flow class. Um, and I know I've forgotten another one I shouldn't do, but um, with all the, with the that rolling schedule of indoor activities, there's also loads of outdoor activities happen. Taunton Ladies Rugby Football Club are making an appearance, so they'll do, do some jazzy things. We've got um, Boogie Bounce and Burn, and then we've also got some nice, lovely family activities. So if you fancy a bit of egg and spoon with your kids, give them a go, try and race them, chase them down. Um, you know, all these lovely things, uh, a little bit of football golf as well. Um, so yeah from 10 till 5 we'll be there you can come and talk to us ask us any questions as well fantastic brilliant you'd love to book into that or is it a sort of just a turn up on the day sort of event uh so the the indoor event we do say try and sign up if you can um and again you can find that link on our on our facebook page as well um but if if you get there and you drop in and say i don't suppose there's any room on this class and there is you absolutely go for it just come ready in your movement clothes as well and it's all free Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. And where's the where's the roller skating? Because I'm going to dust mine off from the loft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! I knew there was. That's what we were saying yesterday, Sarah, wasn't it? There's there's some secret skaters that just need to come back out. <laughs> um, Definitely. I think that's what's so great about roller skating that I didn't realise. Me and Charlotte were having a discussion with another colleague yesterday who also said, you know what, I think I want some roller skates. And it's just, again, getting that conversation started because you never know what you have in common with someone she, else. I discovered you... my next door neighbour likes roller skating as well. She gave me a lift somewhere this morning and she said about, you know, wanting to go out skating. I was like, oh, 
I take my skates down to the park, you know, where the kids go. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'll come with you. So, yeah, I have a lot of it about. (laughs) You just never know kind of what comes from these things. And also something just that me and Charlotte have been talking about with roller skating is it sounds like, you know, when you first think of doing it, that you need to be in a a roller rink or, you know, an indoor space. But actually... Mm -hmm. I've been going down to my local skate park on the pavement in my back garden. I've been using the carpet in my front room to learn how to jump. You know, there's been flailing arms all over the place. I've had plenty of falls, but it's so much fun. Like I just, it's my new favorite hobby. Like I I need to become a pro. That's my next goal. I just want to be able to do backflips. But then it's just remembering that that's not what it's about. It's just about having fun and enjoying yourself and every time I come back from roller skating I've just got a beaming smile on my face I just I absolutely love it <laughs> I think that's what it is. it's like a throwback to childhood isn't it yes. um, you know I, I very much but a few friends have said recently as well that exercise has to be fun we've kind of gone past the point of let's say wanting to go to the gym for three hours straight or you know whatever I know that suits some people but for a lot of my friends if it's not fun we're not going to do it Exactly. You know, yeah. so, you know, it's got to be enjoyable. And like you say, with the robots, even if you're bouncing the wrong way, it doesn't matter. If you're there having fun, you know, you're moving, you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also for me, I mean, in, in my in my head, I still think I'm 22. <laughs> and, you know, I'm not. And um, I'm not the most fit and active person. And, and the body does let me down a bit. You know, I, I still think, I mean, I am typically that person that will say, right, I'm exercising. I'm now going to go and do a 50 mile hike because I think I can off the bat, not doing any training. And then I really suffer. Um, so it's learning about doing activities that are just a bit slower for me and building it up. You know, um, and I think that puts me off as well that I think sometimes when I go to some of these activities or groups, I'm going to be the only one that can't do it. I'm going to be the only one that can't run, that is slower, that, you know, I'm I'm very asthmatic. So I get out of breath so I can't run or if I run, I'm going to be the one at the back. And it's it's getting over that barrier, isn't it? It's really getting over that barrier and just slapping myself around the face a little bit and saying it doesn't matter. It's the fact that I've gone out and I'm trying and I'm meeting people. Yeah, you couldn't have got it more, Bob, on. And, you know, I always say a lot of it is the hardest bit is putting on your sports bra and stepping out your front door. Once you're there, you've done it. You've absolutely, you know, you've made it. Um, But it is, we are, we literally all have the same feelings. You do look around the room and go, oh, well, she looks confident. Then she's probably looking back going, oh, my God, she looks good. Like, you know, we're all kind of doing it, aren't we? But we are literally all in the same boat. And it is just sharing the experience going okay yeah we are we are yeah i'm i'm I'm, I'm not a very attractive exerciser you know there are there are some women that actually look very glam that really isn't me (laughs) so if you need the hot sweaty red-faced friend i'm the i'm your girl i'm the one i'm the one to come with (laughs) that is me red red and rosy (laughs) Um, I'm just looking to see if we've got any more comments coming up. Um, don't think we have at the moment, but anyone that's watching, and obviously if you are watching this on catch up, because we don't always get people sort of watching live at the time, but as it's shared, if you're watching this um, on catch up, just message and uh, we'll get the information across to you um, and answer any any of your comments. Um, anything else later? We could chat about this all day, couldn't we? Really. Um, anything else anyone would like to add to this before we say our goodbyes I think something I'd just like to add is that if you haven't already just check us out on Facebook Instagram Twitter on the Get Outside in Somerset website because I guarantee you're going to find something that's right for you and even if it just means that this afternoon or when you finish work or this weekend you go you know what I might go and do something new or I might go and do that thing that I wanted to do six months ago but I didn't think I had the right footwear or I didn't think I had the right clothes because I guarantee you have something it doesn't matter if you're wearing flip-flops and you go for a little walk around your house as long as you're doing something for yourself that makes you feel good you know you're prepared for the weather bring a raincoat if it's raining I know luckily we've had some sun come out today which is great but I know the rain was awful earlier um It's very much just, you know, taking time for yourself and telling yourself, you know what, I can do this. And it doesn't matter what level of activity I do today. It doesn't matter, you know, how intense I have to push myself. It's just about doing something that makes me feel good and put a smile on my face. Because 
the benefits you feel afterwards and throughout the activity and the exercise are great. And again, um, like Charlotte's been saying, you know, about with the roller skating, for example, having that support group with the In It Together project as well. This support doesn't just stop when you get back in your car and you drive home from the activity. It carries on when you get home and you have a question to ask Charlotte or myself or pop something on social media. There's someone there for you, no matter what the question or query is. You know, there's support out there. And absolutely, you can you can find it. So again, just check us out on all of our social platforms, our website, and and see what you can find for you. Well, ladies, what can I say? Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. And I will, You've been inspirational. I've, You're saying yeah, your enthusiasm is palpable. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Um, and I'm sure you know lots and lots of people watching this are going to pick up on your enthusiasm and uh, want to join in. So. Thank you so much. I myself, I'm going to check out your pages, see what uh, see what I can get involved with. Um, so, if we've got anything else, that you know, fantastic. Thank you so much, and um, see you again sometime. Hopefully, come back on. Please come back on at some at another point, and we'll chat further. Uh, maybe we can do a live, you know, live Zumba or something. <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Thank you very much for now. And like I say, anyone that's watching it on catch up, please put any comments or any questions in the box and we'll do our best to answer them. So thank you so much, ladies. Thank you so much for having us on. You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Bye.